All righty, I have a construction update for you guys today. Let's get right into it. Moosehorn Falls, um, its landscaping is coming along really nicely. Um, I have a surprise for you guys very shortly. So they're about to pour the concrete slabs for the water park that'll connect the entrance to this water slide and then you exiting. As you can see there, power has been connected to Moosehorn Falls. Um, they are still working on the plumbing. Plumbing has not fully been connected to the tower and plumbing work still continues down below the tower to connect it to that giant station. So um, Moosehorn Falls is coming along nicely. As you can see here, and I have a map for you guys at the end of the video. I have some uh, graphics for you to show what I'm thinking. Um, they are laying some brickwork down and covering the threaded rod with these little boxes. In today's update, you're going to kind of see they are going to start redirecting traffic to work on certain aspects of this coaster. Um, it is something that is just that's just how they're going to have to do it through the entire coaster project as this coaster heads over a lot of the park's open areas. So get used to it. It will impact guest flow ever so slightly, but obviously they're going to redirect um, and redesign areas to the best of their ability to account for more guest flow. So as you see here, um, the mason workers, uh, masonry workers, oh my God, I'm not even pronouncing that right, um, are getting uh, certain aspects of the park ready to open. Um, in terms of footings, a lot of the footings are done. So 13 footings are poured and ready to go. 15, um, if not 16 footings are dug um, and ready to be finished as well. So the entire station area, um, uh, uh, one third of the break run um, and the first booster launch is all poured, waiting on the turnout of the station to be completely finished. Um, which should be Monday, so that's really exciting. And then they're going to start working on that first element um, that heads into the mountain, and the coaster is going to do some pretty cool twists and turns. Um, by the looks of things, uh, we did see some surveying going on, and we saw them surveying the markings um, that led not in a direct straight path out of the mountain. So it looks like, fingers crossed, take this information um, with a grain of salt right now because I can't fully confirm it, but it looks like it's going to do a few twists and turns um, after that first element before hitting that thruster um, to get you out of the mountain. Um, I am working on a very cool uh, recreation for you guys, uh, prediction layout, um, so you're definitely going to want to watch that. You should be very excited for this project, but yeah. Um, I do think I know how the station and queue line and how this area is going to look now. I have a really good idea. I'm going to do that in a separate video that's not a construction update. Uh, and I'm going to wait for the prediction layout to be complete um, because the, the American engineers um, are actually doing a really good job and showcasing what this might look like as well. So it's not just a layout. You're going to get um, kind of like a little bit of theming with it as well. So stay tuned, guys. It's It should be out within two weeks max, hopefully a week. Um, and, yeah, you're going to want to watch this. Um, outside of that, uh, this is an area that you're going to see as you, they have a lot of fencing. They're going to start redirecting the area. So um, as you see here, they're about to do four footings that lead inside the mountain, six in total. They've actually fenced off those additional two markings. So you're going to see here they move the fence to create a larger bubble that goes all the way over um, to the grab and go. Um, and I'm going to show you guys every single marking in the break run and finale of the ride up to the entrance into the mountain on a map at the end of the video. Um, so all you're going to see here, I don't want to reveal. No, you know what? I'm not going to say this until the prediction layout comes out. You're going to see some sort of really cool kind of element right here. Um, is similar to, um, what do you call it? Icebreaker <laughs> at SeaWorld. So you will see some sort of thing. So this path right here should change. Now this is coming from personal opinion based off of observations. This is not coming from what I know. Um, and you'll see traffic kind of directed down there. Whether they only close off half of that Tiny Tom's path with fencing and surround the arcade um is uh up for question but there are footings that go diagonally across that path so i fully suspect they're going to redirect us down to the fly and i'm going to show you in a second what i mean about that so the green arrows on the rendering you're about to see are the new guest path 
Um, and then the orange areas are going to be the blocked off areas with the fencing where they are working on construction. So as you see on, on the screen right now, the orange is no-go zone and the green arrows are the path. That will be temporary um, until they're done digging the footings and then put those cardboard, or not cardboard, those wood caps on them. Nothing going on in Extreme Skyflyer except for water excavation to dig up electrical. Um, and here is that footing map layout I was talking about of the finale of the ride leading into the brake run. Um, leading into the station and the first element into the mountain. Thanks so much for watching today's construction update. Um, hopefully you really enjoyed it and have a good one guys. Stay tuned for a lot more awesome content. Bye.